Hello, hello, it's Kitty, your declutter specialist, coming to you from picturesque Atlantic Canada, kind of. Uh, <laughs> why do I say that? Because we're getting the tail end of some tropical storm that's been moving its way up the eastern seaboard, and it's funny because talking to a networking colleague this morning and she's in Connecticut and I guess they just got hammered yesterday and I thought uh oh I haven't checked the weather network but I'm sure we're going to get some of that so anyway we are and it's going to rain even harder later today so hey well you know uh September showers bring October flowers <laughs> okay <laughs> maybe not <laughs> But that is where we do need it. I just hope that my plants don't go, don't blow off the balcony. Hi, right, who am I? I'm Kitty with DeclutterTheBrain.com, and I, entrepreneurs hire me to. Hello, hello, Michael. Uh, the, the entrepreneurs hire me to eliminate their clutter and overwhelm in 90 days. Mm -hmm. That's about how long it takes so that they can focus on making more money and building an amazing lives, life for themselves and their families. I do believe the physical clutter and uh, lack of focus and concentration ding, uh, <laughs> are very closely related. So I have developed a step-by-step -step system that has enabled me and my clients to clear years of clutter without getting completely overwhelmed. What? You can clear clutter without getting completely overwhelmed? Yes, you can. Want to know more? Stay tuned and we'll tell you what the next step is to take if you would like to learn more. All right, so uh, Declutter the Brain Facebook group. I, I, it's, it's easier for me to go in order. Of, of subjects and then I, and then I don't get uh, I don't forget anything that you may need to know declutter the brain Facebook group we are um, a small membership but growing steadily with a common goal what is that goal you ask to clear the clutter and potentially mental baggage that's holding us back from being the uh, super achievers and super money makers that we were meant to be and we have tips, we have tricks, we have upcoming workshops and special guests that are that are designed to minimize our overwhelm and maximize our productivity. Um, so come and join us. The link is down below and look forward to seeing you. And you can always leave. I can't imagine why you'd want to, but come and check us out, won't you? All right, so this week has been a fun week. We are talking about feng shui for the entrepreneur, but of course it, it, uh, feng shui applies to everybody. It's been around for, uh, Chinese have been practicing it for 3,500 years or so, and they still do to this day. Um, uh, design their, design their cities and their buildings and their homes around it. And I know firsthand that from realtor friends, oh, okay, so I guess that's secondhand, but my realtor friends have told me that when they um, seek to buy a home, he, even here in North America, they do utilize feng shui in their decisions, which I thought was very, very interesting. In other words, hey, Michael, this is one for you. Um, not that you live on a cul-de-sac, but they will not buy a, a house that's at the end of a cul-de-sac. Bad feng shui, bad arrows. Interesting, huh? Um, so, we've been looking at various parts of the, um, this, but on Monday we talked about uh, the, the main thing, and this applies to every area of your life, and that is do it with intention. Have a why. So if you are addressing, we'll stick with, with wealth for now, uh, if you are applying a feng shui cure, then visualize money coming in. Think about what, what the consequences are, and it, it just makes it more real. You know, uh, Napoleon Hill, uh, uh, you are what you think about any of those kind of things. So just make sure that you visualize and you do it with intention, not that you just spray some orange oil around and go, no, that smells nice. No, you wanna think, oh, fresh energy, come on in. Yeah, it's woo-woo, yeah, it also works. Trust me on this. And 
Right, so speaking of orange oil, sorry guys, but you do have to declutter before you feng shui. Every book that I have written and uh, read about it has, has said this. That yeah, yeah, you have to declutter. Now, if you don't and have time or desire to declutter your entire home, at least just declutter your workspace, whether that's a small office or your dining room table, doesn't matter. Bonus points, uh, sprinkle a little bit of olive oil. Wow, must be the rain. Orange oil <laughs> around, your, around your work area, and it just really, <clears throat> oomphs up the energy, which oomphs up your energy. Hello, hello, Pam. Good to see you. Hello, Sarah. Good to see you. Uh, things are still up in the air, but it's open, but it's okay. I'll be in touch. Uh, I'll know in 45, uh, within an hour, what's going on. You ever have days or an entire week where your life is not in your own control. It's not a comfortable feeling. All right, uh, where are we at? Okay, um, when do you get old, you're going to need notes. Tuesday we talked about, let there be light. Light up your entrance. Make sure that, Michael, you mentioned about um, in, um, the, the um, energy efficient light bulbs as well in your entrance. Money cannot find you if it cannot find your door, your front door. So make sure that your entrance is lit on the outside and the inside. If you, if you're, if, I don't know, it just, it just seems to work. I have a little battery operated light tree in my hallway and I've got a little ritual in the morning and it just, it makes me feel better and I'm sure that a lot of this is what makes you feel better but anywho just make sure that the your entrance is well lit um, inside and out also make sure that your bathroom yeah <laughs> your toilet it, water is very very uh, important in feng shui and your wealth make sure your toilet is your toilet lid is down so that money isn't getting figuratively flush down the drain don't don't put don't put bills in the toilet number one it'll clog it okay <laughs> all right uh, keep your kitchen clean oh and shut your bathroom door okay um, those and just basically two because it, it's um, it, just trust me on this water and money are related and you just want to keep the two of them kind of apart all right, you just you, you just want to do that. All right, yesterday, um, I have to look at the scientific and the actual. They're very they're put it this way. They're very vague in my books about why you should do that, but they tell us to do it, so so we do it, and that's what practitioners, which I'm about to become, uh, like us. We teach what they tell us to teach. All right, uh, I'm the messenger, don't shoot me. Okay, so yesterday talking about the office, even if it is a, whether it's a, a small room, a workshop like either um, Michael or Sarah have, or small office like what Pam has, or perhaps it's your dining room table and that's okay too. Just make sure that it's kind of partitioned off, that everybody knows that this is the work area and you don't use it for anything else. Uh, slide aside, no, not in your bedroom. Do your best to get, and if you have to have it in your bedroom, then keep it screened off, okay? You just wanna make sure that it is your designated workplace. Uh, and also your desk is facing the door, very important. Please don't have your, your back facing the door. If you wanna know more about that, look at yesterday's video, available on all platforms, including YouTube, yep. We're up there. All right, today is, re I'm really excited about this and I'm trying to um, juggle too many hands here. Uh, okay, we are demystifying the octagon. Okay, what do I do here? I will put that there and hope it doesn't fall. I'll put the glasses on my head. All right, good, I have two hands now. We are demystifying the feng shui octagon now in our, uh, in our, in last year's course with my clients, we went over this and it was quite interesting. 
Um, so what, what we have here is, thank you Amanda Bay, uh, my graphics lady, uh, for, for doing this octagon for me. So what the octagon is, is it is divided into, you will see, many areas, uh, eight areas, children, marriage, um, I can't see on the left, I should have my glasses on, knowledge, maybe I should put my glasses on, <laughs> see if that's any better, uh, you've got wealth, where is the wealth? why <laughs> it's upside down okay now this may or may not be mirror image anyway you have uh -huh. okay got it all right your wealth area is in there we go okay it's it was supposed to be landscape all right I'll do a better job on this tomorrow I promise I'm a little distracted today anyway if we're concentrating you see that we have different areas around here but uh, if you're concentrating on your wealth, then what you want to do is you want to look at the uh, uh, stand at the front door of, say for example, your, your office or your, or your room, and you want to look at the back left corner, and that is where you want to apply your cures. Whether those be, hello, thank you, God, we have a couple people extra joining us, thank you. Hi, um, that is where you want to make sure that you're applying your cures. You can, I can, you can do a couple of quick ones without even getting getting too scientific. Um, again, back left corner of whatever room it is, your office or your dining room or whatever. Do any of the following. You can apply. Uh, you can hang a wind chime. You can put a plant. Uh, see if you can identify why, why these are all common. Um, I'm running out of time here. Wind chime, plant, a mirror, a whirly gig, you know, a, one of those spinny things, a crystal, or you can apply the color red or purple and maybe green. Okay, why do you notice that all of those are their movement, their life? Okay, and what you're doing is you're putting life in your wealth area or any other area, but that is, we're just doing wealth. So, back left corner of the room. That's all you need to remember, okay? And put something that is moving or life. When in doubt, a plant will do it. All right, so, uh, if you love this video, if you even like it, if you even find it's giving you a giggle, if you just wanna jeer at it and throw tomatoes, I hope you don't, but that's okay. I'm on the other side of the screen. Hello, Jill. Uh, God bless you. Yeah, me too, actually. Um, so anyway, share it. Thank you, Jill. I know that you've shared it. I think each of you have shared it. Um, is some, you, maybe some, you'll make somebody's day. Hmm? Uh, da, 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 or you'll boost plant sales. Go, if you want to. Um, you want to, oh, my octagon has dropped, oh, okay. Have you ever felt like your life is in complete and total chaos? I know I have, and uh, you know, we all do occasionally. Do you wish that there were a meep, easy button to just get rid of all the clutter right away? Do you want to feel at peace in your surroundings, you know, and just go, ah, okay, yeah, this is good. Clients come to me with, uh, they're overwhelmed, they're, they're stressed by their partner, they're, they're stressed with all of the nagging. Uh, you ever, if this sounds familiar, let's jump on a 30 minute clutter checkup call and I'll listen to see what it's costing you in your health, your wealth, your clutter is costing you in your health, your wealth, your relationships, and we'll create a plan for immediate action and then we can see if, uh, if if we're a good fit to, uh, if I can help you out, uh, so that you can make an amazing life for yourself and your family. Direct message me or go to the same place that you would download your seven easy steps to conquer your clutter at www.declutterthebrain.com. All right, more on the octagon tomorrow. Until then, thank you so much. See you later. 11 Eastern, bye for now.